my name is bisma and today my topic is about medicated shoes chemistry so what is footwear a shoe is an item of footwear intended to protect and comfort the human foot while doing various activities shoes are also used as an item of decoration refers to garment worn on feet for fashion protection against the environment and adornment what are diabetic shoes diabetic shoes are refer to as diabetic shoes are refer to as the patients who are whose glucose whose glucose level is high as not at, at optimum temp, uh, not at optimal level diabetic shoes is sometimes referred to as an extra depth and width or or which are specially designed shoes or the in, insert of the shoes are intended to reduce the risk of skin breakdown in diabetes with coexisting foot disease so these sho- these shoes are basically for diabetes patient and for the patients who suffered from joint uh, from the pain of joints stiffness of joints and uh, basically bone deficiencies so what are benefits of diabetic shoes the supple leather conforms to the contours of the foot enhancing comfort seamless lining made of soft fabric and padded with foam provides excellent protection the only diabetic prefers orthotic with rear foot support that sports an arch filter and a long lasting support the sole which is in which is inserted inside the foot it with a toe with a true toe spring design softens the step and helps propel foot forward so that the person uh, so that the person feels himself or herself more comfortable extra depth design offers a loose fit and freedom for the toe movement so why one need diabetic shoes diabetic diabetes damage the nerves that can occur to foot and not be detected with the process called peripheral neuropathy diabetes also affect the circulation of uh, also affect the circulation of blood poor circulation can affect the ability of body to heal when the damage occurs diabetes can also affect the joints making them stiffer other diabetic complications that can also affect the foot for example kidney disease affects the protein that are involved in foot uh, wound healing and the eye disease so that the person is not able to see the where the foot is damaged or not so what are the basics of uh, manufacturing of fo- footwear so what are the uh, materials used in in, uh, in there are various of materials which are used in footwear for example leather the upper the upper part of the foot and synthetic polymers which are referred to as the involvement of chemistry rubber plastic textiles which are also used in chemi- chemical industry chemical industries and plating materials wood cork and some cases of steel so what are the chemicals which are used in formation of different parts of footwear so, number 1 polyvinyl chloride it is obtained by the polymerization of vinyl chloride in shoe making industry it is used with 20 to 50% softener mainly uh, for using the for softening the sole of the shoe and the other one is polyvinyl acetate which is obtained by the polymerization of vinyl acetate single pvac is unsuitable for forming so it is mostly used as copolymer with pvc the next one is polyethylene it is obtained by polymerization of the ethylene ethene under various conditions the pressure temperature and catalyst must be at a perfect level in shoe making industry it is used for producing fillings heels and insole of the shoes as it is referred to as medicated shoes so what is what are, is polypropylene it is obtained by polymerization of the pro pro propylene in shoe making industry it is used for producing all height of shoes molds and filling what is the role of polycarbonate it is saturated polyesters of carbonic acid and the general formula is orco and n for the number of carbons in shoe making industry it is used for producing soles and heels so these are the chemicals which are used in uh, production of heels and insoles of the diabetic shoes because the diabetic shoes are rather more comfort than the normal shoes normal footwear so what are the findings why the why we have to use such type of shoes or why the patients who are suffering from different types of diseases 
for example the bone deficiencies and uh, which includes osteoporosis and um, in the diabetes mellitus patients so lack of awareness about uh, diabetes mellitus among patient people don't know what are they suffering about or what are the conditions of their skeletal system economic condition of our people is not in a good enough to get proper medication and proper footwear so people cannot afford such type of medicated shoes because such type of shoes which are made with proper care and they need they are more costly strict diabetes control not even adequate importance by patient even many doctors do not know if the the importance of diabetes footwear they take it lightly less diabetic footwear manufacturers unless uh, unlike the footwear industry the diabetic foot, uh, footwear industry is less common no proper knowledge of diabetic footwear lack of research in diabetic uh, footwear and if a diabetic shoes are available patient would buy medicated shoes so so the the so the people who cannot afford such type of shoes go for medicated shoes which are not common which are not common uh, which are not uh, as same as diabetic shoes some canvas made shoes are also used as diabetic shoes because they are because they are produced and they look like medicated shoes so some of the manufacturers use the upper part of the canvas shoes to make the medicated shoes or diabetic shoes what are the recommendations if the seamless lining are not made seams are given always outside of the shoes as the abrasive force is left felt outside do not use neoprene adhesive in diabetic shoes manufacturers as it makes the seam more ribs and reduce the breath ability and raise the chance of shocking the third generation polyl adhesive which is made from bean can be used it is also used in green footwear green footwear is also the other kind of footwear in other cases of disease insert disc like spindle or a microcellular into the heel or to set the shoe or feet uniformly in the rough surface which avoid the trembling risk while padding using a using a fabric under the form to trap the produced heat above the line ling layer which reduces the heat contact what is the conclusion and what are the results or why we should why we should buy medicated shoes or diabetic shoes a comprehensive concept of the medical functional and technical requirements for this type of footwear is still lacking till date a proper research is really needed to guide the patients and as well as doctors and they must be educated properly the importance of this type of footwear and they always they always try to give up the uh, medications uh, medications but they are but the person is suffering from diabetes definitely need to consider using diabetic footwear instead of normal footwear these type of footwear offer good feet sport and they are quite comfortable to wear they are good to keep your foot healthy and maintain a good lifestyle thank you